What's up, everybody? My name is Shannon, and I am still waiting for my Seder. And today we are talking about Star Wars Most Wanted by Ray Carson. So before I say anything, this is the perfect book to read after Solo A Star Wars Story. I'm gonna try my best not to get into like any like any spoiler territory with that movie at all, but coming off of Solo, I really, really, really wanted to know more about Kira because she's so interesting and she's so mysterious. And I felt like, like it, it, the movie is about Solo, it, it's about Han Solo, so like it can't be about Kira, but like I was just so drawn to her. I wanted to know what she was doing. I wanted to know what was going through her head. And then reading this, book, it was like, thank God you get so much about her in this because yes, it is a Han and Kira novel. It does take place kind of in that beginning period of Solo. I, I want to say a couple of months, probably before that. They're working with the White Worm gang. They're both trying to like get this top spot within the gang and they're like working against each other. They're not really friends yet. The whole book is about how they learn, how different they are, but like that makes them work really well together. They really come to appreciate each other. They both have like these really amazing art throughout the story, getting them to kind of almost where we see them at the beginning of Solo, but there's such a heavy emphasis on Kira. I almost want to say that Kira, more than Han, is the main character of Most Wanted, and that's what made me so excited about this book, because immediately we're getting all of these details about her. We're learning how smart she is, how she's somebody who's definitely more of like a planner. She doesn't trust anybody because everybody's always been stabbing her in the back. So she's like planning things out. She's gonna do things her way. She can think it through. Whereas Han is very much the opposite of that. He operates almost entirely just on like improvisation and like gut feeling and he makes connections and makes friends with people so they're very much at odds and they're kind of forced together because of like these deals that go wrong and they're on the run together and it's really cool to see how they balance each other out and what's even better is that they really come to appreciate each other for these differences they never really resent each other for like being the way that they are i mean yes kira does get annoyed with han but i mean like who wouldn't that's just like typical stuff but they really appreciate how their strength complements each other. And I really, really enjoyed seeing that. My favorite thing again about this book is just how much we get about Kira, but I also really like that there are a lot of interesting parallels in this book. We see a lot of like Han Solo and things that kind of allude to like father like son type things. Like the whole time, all I kept thinking of, you have too much of your father's heart in you young Solo. Cause you really see like Han's optimism on display here and there's like a lot of things that kind of hint at Ben Solo as well like Han isn't so good with like his words he's got like his emotions written all over his face there's this one point towards the end where he just completely goes into rage mode and it was just so Kylo Ren I just I couldn't believe it but then we also get a lot of things with Kira and what's interesting is that in the Solo movie you could argue that like Kira is kind of Kylo Ren and Han is kind of Rey which I'm actually going to be talking about over on Network 19 one's channel on Wednesday, so you definitely want to go over and check that out. But in this book, Kira really mirrors Rey a lot, so they almost flip it, especially with some things that we learn towards the middle of the book. I'm not going to go into it. I don't want to spoil it. We'll actually probably talk about that on Thursday when I tell you everything you need to know about this book if you don't want to read it. But it's just really interesting to see how these tropes are like getting inverted and twisted and flipped around. And I really feel like we have a more concrete picture of these two characters now, especially Kira. And now what I want is I want more Kira. I want more books about her. I want to know what happens to her after she gets separated from Han. You can kind of infer what was going on there, but I really want a book like from her perspective, like the entire time, like figuring out what's going on. I want to know what happens to her after the end of Solo. She's really, really cool. And I feel like they did a great job establishing this character and publishing this book right after the movie was the best move they could have made because this was exactly what I wanted. And like the, the syndication just worked so well because like, I want to know about Kira. Here's a book about her. So naturally I'm going to go out and buy it. So I do highly recommend this book. And personally, Most Wanted has broken into my top five, like Star Wars, favorite Star Wars books of all time. If you don't include novelizations, it's probably my third favorite Star Wars book of all time. I really, really enjoyed it. I got a lot of, a lot of thoughts about it. So I do highly recommend it. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That that is everything got for you today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Also, if you don't follow me on social media, I spent an entire evening applying Star Wars temporary tattoos because I'm super cool, man.